Consider traveling to the farthest limits of the cosmos to see what it will look like in the distant future. What would you discover? Would you see stars and planets, or would you see nothing but blackness and emptiness? Would you prefer to witness life and civilizations, or degradation and extinction? Do you see hope or do you see despair? And we have two such ancient devices which might answer the question. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. An amazing adventure began on September 5, 1977, when Voyager 1 was launched into orbit by the Titan Centaur rocket from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Only 15 days later, on August 20, 1977, Voyager 2 followed suit, beginning a parallel adventure into space. Their major goal was to investigate our solar system's gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn, as well as the moons that orbit them. These daring explorers, however, significantly surpassed their initial goals, starting on a mission that would lead them to the outermost limits of our cosmic neighborhood. The launch of NASA's Voyager probes marked the beginning of a historic interstellar journey, demonstrating our ability to monitor not just Earth but also our solar system and beyond. These amazing spacecraft are still giving scientists new information about space 45 years later. These amazing probes are still at the forefront of space exploration even if their memory capacity is 3 million times less than that of a typical smartphone, and their internet speed is 38,000 times slower than that of a 5G connection. However, in a startling turn of events, the Voyagers have made an incredible discovery. What do they do at this moment? What have the Voyager spacecrafts encountered? During their historic journey, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have broken a number of records. They have traveled further from Earth than any other man-made object and have endured longer than any other spacecraft in history. They are the first artifacts made by humans to have really reached interstellar space. Scientists have gained priceless data from their excursion into interstellar space, which extends beyond the solar sphere of influence and into the unexplored region of the galaxy. More than 12 billion miles beyond Earth, these trailblazing interstellar probes never cease to astound physicists with their discoveries. One of the discoveries that scientists could never have predicted is the recent impossibility. We shall look more closely at it later. The presence of Jupiter's rings was one of the most astonishing discoveries. These rings, however faint, were a discovery and contributed to the gas giant's interest. Furthermore, Voyager 2 discovered that Europa, one of Jupiter's 53 named moons, has an ice shell that is almost 60 miles thick. These discoveries called into question earlier ideas about the nature of these distant celestial entities and sparked additional research into the possible habitability of frozen moons. As the Voyagers left Jupiter, they got a gravitational boost that propelled them toward Saturn with a last kick. They would not have been able to escape the Sun's gravitational pull and go deeper into space without this essential push. Voyager 1's path took it close to Saturn's moon Titan, which is cloaked in an orange, hazy atmosphere. Voyager 2, on the other hand, made a historic flyby of Uranus, where it discovered 10 previously unknown moons, increasing the planet's moon count. During its encounter with Neptune, Voyager 2 recorded wind speeds of up to 1,000 miles per hour, making it the fastest wind ever recorded on a planet in our solar system. But before these spacecraft ventured further into the depths of space, one final goodbye remained. As a member of Voyager's imaging team, Carl Sagan proposed capturing the last set of images before the cameras on both spacecraft were turned off. And Valentine's Day 1990, we got this. The most iconic image of our time, the pale blue dot. An unforgettable symbol of our existence in the cosmos. Moving forward, how are these anarchic machines able to keep going on? The Voyager mission is an amazing story of endurance and longevity that reads like a space-age superhero comic. Even after 40 years, they're still out there, sending us crucial data from the furthest regions of our cosmic neighborhood. They're like the indestructible workhorses of the cosmic age. And there are a couple of reasons behind it. First, gravity assist. Gravity assist is all about transferring some of a planet's momentum to the spacecraft as it passes by. 
In a scenario, Voyager 1 approaches Jupiter, a massive gas giant with a gravitational pull to match. With the assistance of the bright minds in NASA, Voyager 1 passed Jupiter at precisely the correct angle and velocity. The spacecraft was pulled toward Jupiter by its gravitational pull, which increased its velocity. Voyager 1 received a cosmic boost that provided the necessary thrust. However, this maneuver is an art. Voyager may first have experienced a cosmic disaster and gone off track if it had reached Jupiter at the incorrect angle or speed during the slingshot. The level of accuracy needed is astounding. However, the engineers and scientists responsible for this cosmic ballet did it correctly not just once but several times. Due to these gravity aids, Voyagers 1 and 2 were able to go on an amazing voyage through the solar system. Without another essential component, the Deep Space Network, or DSN, these voyages would have remained only fantastical space fantasies. The DSN is a global network of enormous radio antennas that are positioned all over the world, notably in Australia, California, and Spain. These enormous dishes, which have diameters ranging from 26 to an incredible 70 meters, function as cosmic megaphones that let us speak with spacecraft that are orbiting other planets. Imagine it as our intergalactic phone line, connecting us to our adventurous friends. In the immensity of space, the Voyager probes with their cameras, sensors, and instruments are essentially our eyes and ears. The DSN came into play because we required a reliable communication system to comprehend the information they provided back and to provide them with updated instructions. As the Voyager twins traverse in the depths of space, their faint signal weakens. Traveling at the speed of light, by the time it reaches Earth, it's barely a whisper. In addition to receiving signals, the DSN may also deliver directives. Missions like Voyager, you see, are dynamic. It is necessary for engineers and scientists to modify their plans, reroute the spacecraft, or change their equipment. They transmit these orders to Voyager via the DSN, which beams them into space. The discussion is two-way, involving Earth and the furthest off human-made objects in space. It guarantees that the narratives of the Voyager missions will be written even when the ship travels across unexplored interstellar space and beyond our solar system. Now, coming to the discovery, which lies in the heliopause. So what is the heliopause? It's the boundary that separates our sun's influence from the vast interstellar space beyond. The exact location of this boundary was a bit of a mystery until astronomer Bill Gurney placed the heliopause between 116 and 177 astronomical units. Voyager 1 reached the heliopause almost 20 years after Gurney's predictions and saw the anticipated increase in plasma density, proving that Gurney's predictions were surprisingly accurate. But it raised a perplexing query. No significant shift was seen in the ambient magnetic field direction. This was unexpected, because if the spacecraft had traveled from a region where the magnetic field originated from the Sun, to one where it came from other stars, a noticeable change should have occurred. The same occurred when Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause. The Voyager's findings did not support the theory that the heliosphere would change in accordance with the Sun's 11-year cycle. Still, the data from the Voyagers have yielded important insights for improving theoretical models. According to current scientific theories, our Sun has changed from being a hot, ionized zone to a partly ionized region of our galaxy. This transition was most likely driven by nearby supernovae, which erupted at the end of their lifetimes and heated the surrounding environment, while removing electrons from neighboring atoms. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, the eternal explorers, continue their solitary travels beyond interstellar space, abandoning the planets and moons they once called home. But what lies ahead for these indefatigable travelers? It, it's a cosmic guessing game, but here are some possibilities to ponder. Although it may sound like they're headed for a cosmic death in 2030, as predicted by some scientists, it is still possible that they'll likely outlast our species, enduring for millions of years. One day, they might encounter other star systems, bringing with them a message from a long-lost Earth. The golden record, the proof of our existence. What are your thoughts about the Voyagers, let us know in the comments below. 
Thank you for watching Lab360, like this video, and also subscribe to the channel. Because together, we will explore.